What's the pack system in Torchlight Infinite and how does it work? Let's find out. The game starts you with a base pack layout and all characters will start with the same layout. You can, you can change this layout by adding pets. Each pet will offer a different variety of bonuses, so make sure you read them all and determine which pet will best suit and make your build stronger or more efficient in whatever goals you are trying to achieve. To acquire pets, you have various options. You can buy them from the boon, and doing this, you can use in-game currency as jagged primo crisps. You acquire these from doing various activities and battle pass rewards and weekly challenges that will pop up. The game, at least in beta, was very generous with the amount of Jagged Primo Chris that they awarded you, especially in the launch week. Once you've run out of pre Jagged Primo Chris, you have the option to buy the paid version, pre full-on Primo Chris, and you can use these to also purchase pets. You can go through the various options, and they all offer alternative ways to target the pets. So make sure you read them carefully and pick the one that best suits you to help target your chances at getting the pets you want. Once you have achieved, acquired the pets you would like, you can choose how you would like to put them into your tree in various ways. Make sure, like I said, you read what they do and then you can put them in your various spots. You click on the one you want, click form pack, and it'll go into the tree. Once you have chosen your pets, you now can socket your things, your skills. You go to the skill you would like, you would all allocate. You will need to put at least two points in the first inner ring to, a, to unlock a point in the upper ring, the middle ring. Once you have all three allocations in the middle ring, you can go to the upper ring. At any point, if you do not like the options that the pets give you, you can change back to the base tree at no cost, as well as re reverse the point and move it somewhere else. As far as if this system is pay to win, in my experience, at least in the closed beta, yes, there is some advantages to having these pets. They will give you minor bonuses in the form of damage, survivability, and drop rates, as well as EXP gains. So depending on how you want to manage your pets, they will bring you advantages over someone who has no pets. These advantages, as they are strong, are not game defining. You can, and I have, beat the game with only the base pack treat and using no pets at all. Even though the game gives you options to get free pets, you have the option to ignore them completely and still enjoy the game. Hopefully this has helped you better understand the pack system. I'll see you in the game. Enjoy.